Hey guys, it's your girl Saray Ravine and I'm back with another shower routine. So this shower routine is cucumber scented and today I'm going to be starting off by doing hair removal immediately. So I'm using this V gel cream. This is like my second time using this and I really do like it so far because it makes my skin super smooth and it does pretty good like for a cream instead of having to shave and stuff. So I'm just putting that all over my legs. I basically covered my legs entirely with the gel cream because girl, it's been a hot minute since I shaved my legs and my arms. So I was like, gotta go hard or gotta go home. And I went ahead and just decided to go hard and I put it all over my legs, of course. And now I'm putting an even layer all over my arms as well and then I'm going to let it sit for 10 minutes and I'll be right back you guys so to remove the gel cream and the hair I use the scraper that they provided along with the bottle and I'm also using a mixture of just rinsing things off as well so right here I noticed how soft and smooth my skin was after using that so I'm going in with my first layer of soap and this is the Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile soap in the almond scent and this junk smells so freaking good I'm also using it with my African net sponge. I'm getting a really good deep clean with this thing. In all of my shower routines, I always talk about this African net sponge. It is freaking amazing. If you are struggling with odor under your arms and stuff like that, try using this because you're able to exfoliate and clean yourself at the same time. So after I go ahead and do my first layer of soap, I'm going to rinse off really well and then prepare to exfoliate with my body scrub. So I'm going in with the Onyx Bathhouse Foaming Body Scrub, and this is the one that's infused with pomegranate oil. And guys, I have never used a foaming body scrub before, so I was shook. Cause when I first dipped into the jar, I was like, why is it so hard? And then when I read the instructions and it said to add water, I realized quickly, like, yeah, that makes sense. Anywho, so I do like the smell. The only thing that I will say is that I feel like I wasn't getting much of an exfoliation. So now I'm going in with my second layer of soap and I'm using the Dove Cucumber and Green Tea Body Wash. And this junk is bomb. This is literally my holy grail. I love this body wash so much. It smells good. I love smelling like cucumbers. It's just very refreshing. So I'm going in with a washcloth for this step because I grew up using washcloths. So those are also very imperative as well when it comes to cleaning your body so as you guys have noticed i've been cleaning up under my arms a whole lot which is something that i normally do because i like to stay fresh under my arms after i get done applying my second layer of soap i like to go ahead and clean behind my ears because girl you do not want to be smelling bad like you do not want anything to be smelling bad so um after that, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I rinse off my body really well to the best of my ability to get all of these soap suds off. Just to make sure that my underarms are really fresh, I'm going in with the Dove Cucumber and Green Tea Body Wash, and I'm just going to apply some underneath my arms and let that sit while I'm cleaning my downstairs area and cleaning off my face and everything like that. So I'm using this BH Essentials Daily Feminine Wash to clean my downstairs area and also a washcloth, which is very important. And so after I do that, then I'm going to go ahead and as you guys can see, rinse everything off underneath my arms and to rinse off the Daily Feminine Wash as well as any extra soap suds that are left behind. So now I'm about to dry off going to body care. So for body cream, I'm using the Cucumber Melon and Pink Chiffon body creams from um, bath and body works so usually when I do have time I will try to layer my scents like layer my body lotions or my perfumes slash fragrances so in this case I used like I said the cucumber melon and pink chiffon because I'm trying to go for a very sweet cucumber scent for deodorant I'm going in with the dove advanced care cool essentials deodorant and I love this junk it smells so good guys look at my 
freaking robe. It has a hood, first of all. It's covered in pink hearts. It is just so adorable. I went ahead and washed my face. I washed my face. I put on um, some moisturizer and stuff. I told you guys the two things that I use to moisturize my skin. And I put on some lip gloss. And then I'm gonna go in with this cucumber melon fine fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works. And honestly, like I'm really just experimenting with this scent because I blind bought it during the SAS sale. Yeah, I think it was like last summer. Um, I blind bought it. So right now I'm just trying to experiment with it because I like cucumber scents, but this cucumber scent is like a little bit different. It's a little different, like it's a, I feel like you can smell more melon than cucumber in this. Yeah, I meant to say that the cucumber melon scent um, from Bath and Body Works, I feel like it's giving me more of honeydew melon rather than cucumber and like other melons and stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to add that in there. Because I did a lot of body care, um, well, not a lot, but because I did body care with like cucumber scented body wash, um, I think that kind of helped. And then I added the pink chiffon body cream also from Bath and Body Works. And I feel like I smell like very sweet melons, I guess you could say. I don't know how to describe it. If you got this far, first of all, comment down below with a purple heart emoji and that'll let me know that you guys actually watched this video all the way through. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video and wanna see more like this, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Yeah, so with that being said, make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one, bye.